Hey guys, um, welcome. My name is Badi K, and I'll be showing you how to optimize your game for an Intel game, of course. Now, um, full disclaimer on this video this video is in no means to these other content producers who do on such topics. But you have to notice that watching other YouTube videos which um, you know do tutorials on optimizations they actually have high-end PCs and high-end graphic cards and you know they you know someone will tell you how to optimize FPS and he has a 1080 Ti you know stuff like that and he won't really help you the Intel game not even Intel in general but integrated graphics because AMD too is the case so AMD might get slightly more performance than you the Intel gamer because Intel graphics integrated graphics hasn't been optimized for gaming unlike AMD so let us get straight into it now um, you can see this is my desktop I'll just briefly run you through now you're gonna see a graphic drastic change in the color right now because it looks very clear and very bright but when I take this down you see it's like I'm bleaching my screen now this is how your screen is normally if you're talking right now you're Intel gamer this is how your screen color should be and I can't see very clearly with this because the colors are like um, bleached in my eyes so I make them vibrant to get going you have to locate your game files now this is optional it is not compulsory of course this can be done but it won't affect performance much except for optimizing as administrator so I'll get straight to it steam apps um, come on rainbow six each and here we go rainbow six each now properties make sure this is compatible compatibility tab make sure that it's run as an administrator now I don't know the difference a lot with full screen optimizations, but if you're someone who can reach 60 FPS, maybe trying it out might do it different for you. I don't know when it has set me in game, but I think it has done something. I haven't felt it yet, but I'll show you what you can feel and what will give you that optimization. Now someone who has already above 60 FPS shouldn't come to this video because I'm trying to get people to get to 60 FPS. So apart from this, you need to locate your in-game files, which is under Documents, My Games, Locate Rainbow Six each, your code, your ID, uh, and game settings. And you want to make sure that your resolution is below the minimum, which should be 1024 by 768. That is the minimum. Your resolution should go lower than that. It can go lower than that and run good lower than that. Now, if you notice, this is my custom resolution 768 by 690. You might say, but this is not an official resolution. How will I optimize it? Well, my game won't run in this resolution exactly. It will run in the minimum resolution my PC configures for the game, which is 1280 by 600, I think. But in game, this is the resolution that that resolution will be running at I think you can get the point let me get into the game now make sure everything is set on zero very important I don't know about um, AM, use AMT max enable AMT most I don't know what it is so I just put that to zero um, AMT max I just put it to zero you might try to keep it to one and zero but those are in direct graphic settings they might not change a lot, but if they change a lot, you know, leave it down in the comments below. We'll be glad I appreciate it. My, my FOV is at 55, which is normally below 60. You might see it to disadvantage, but I play on a very high sensitivity. My in-game sensitivities um, should be around. Where are they? My in-game sensitivities are 70. That's my ADS. It's 70. So I can flick as quick as possible. So it compensates for the low FOV. Now my um chapman factor you also normally be set to 25 you can bump that up to like um 30 40 you know depending on how much sharpness you want now my render scaling is where it comes fishy because render scaling affects your game a lot so when you set that to 25 that which is a minimum you can actually come in and bump it lower to 20 
Now don't get me wrong, your graphics won't be potato, they won't be shitty, you will see in a bit. My TTA scaling, I put it to 150, the limit is normally 100, but it's because I take this so low, I need to make everything sharp to compensate for the lost pixels. Now make sure that this is set properties is set on read only because the game on its own at times may reset to your base resolution and you know make the game sluggish again. When you do this, anytime it does that you just need to restart the game and you're back. And it will only set to your base resolution when you've completed a match or a terrorist hunt or something. But it's rare, it happens rarely. I experience it but not a lot. It doesn't tweak that much. Now this is all for in-game files. Now you should go and check a YouTube channel. Um, I will leave the link in the description below. He introduced me to the timer resolution. Now what does the timer resolution do? It maximizes the response time of any input to your device, which is your keyboard, your mouse, you know, anything you use to input into the game, it maximizes it. So even that aim might feel smoother when you're turning around just because of this. So mine takes about a millisecond to respond. That's from my mouse to my PC. It takes about a millisecond. Now millisecond is actually really small if you have to look at the time space continuum or some shit like that. Well but in in game one millisecond is too much. Because your response needs to be as quick as possible. So I maximize that and that takes it to half the speed, which is 0.5 milliseconds. Now my mouse feels a lot way smoother than before. But if I had this at my maximum, we can't go back because now it's optimized. But if I had this at the maximum, at this, it feels sluggish. But when I maximize it, it feels smooth. Now I'm telling you this, it does a difference, a big difference. Try it out, it's very useful. I'll leave the link in the description below for the YouTube I'll introduce me to this. Now let's move on to the in-game itself. So I'm just going to skip all of this. Um, I'll end the recording here and show you in game after this. Boom. So guys, as you can see, um, this is my current display settings. This is the so-called resolution, which is my lowest. So the so the game will just put it. It can put the resolution I just customized. My aspect ratio is four to three. VSync off. Widescreen letterbox off. Now note, widescreen letterbox can make your game, you know, look like a movie, which will restrict the image. When we turn that off, it opts like it scales your image to full screen. So then it's adding an extra zoom to the image. Now for those who like wide angles and you know wide FOVs, just buy a better PC because you won't have any good FPSs if your FOV is really wide or if you haven't configured it the way I've configured. You'll just have the low sluggish FPSs. Now coming to what I was saying about before. Now you see my render scaling is so called at 25, but it's actually at 20. So when I tweak this all the way up to 100. This 128 by 60, 600, this is the resolution of my screen, which the game has been configured right now, like full screen. But this is not the resolution I'm running at because I manually configure my resolution. So the, it gives the impression that you're running at a higher resolution. But in fact, the game has just put it on the optimized resolution it, it's meant to run at. Now, remember. Your game is running at the resolution you configured, not this resolution. This is the only resolution the game can display. So make sure you don't apply changes. And let's go into a T-Hunt. And the T-Hunt will be brief. I'll just show you um, the disadvantages of this. One of the biggest disadvantages, as you might guess, is impaired vision. You won't be able to pick some really hard angles, you know, watch for pixel changes or stuff like that you'll be forced to cope with whatever you have and let me play with a very popular site which is a holographic which everyone likes and i'll just show you the difference it will make when i increase the color settings now remember color settings is optional depending on your eye history if you're someone who is sensitive to very bright vibrant colors 
No, don't do this. Don't configure it. Just play the way the game is. You can see my FPS right there, right? It's like that's it or something. But the game is smoother. If you're interested in the FPS, you can just watch the FPS meta. It's currently at 34, but I can't. Okay, I'm dead. So that FPS says 30, 39, 40. But the game is actually really smooth. And it feels like I'm playing on about 40 FPS. So let me quit to the desktop and show you what you can do to increase your visibility. And I'll be right back. So we are back to the desktop and what you can actually do here is go into your Intel um, Graphics Command Center which is loading up in a bit oh. go to display color and take this all the way to 100 now this of course is making the color in game twice as bright as it is now I'll stop this recording and record with the Xbox recorder in game because this recording doesn't work very well in game. This is it um, with the saturation on and you're going to notice a uh, difference, a really great difference with the color settings. Let's get straight right into it. So, as you can see the red dot, even it's visible, you know, that red, that laser sight, still is visible. But your PC is bad, your PC is quite bad, but look how visible it is. Now look at the holographic, you can spot, you know, most of its pixels. Now I personally don't play with holographic on attack, um, because ACOG just gives you that override frame boost. Because everything else reminds me okay he's coming he's coming he's coming watch the fps guys watch the fps meta okay he's coming i don't think i need to do that okay it's clear that's the best way to clear that place guys Why does this game always make someone's flank? Like it doesn't even make sense. Why would someone always be ready to flank me? Oh my god. Now I watch a lot of golly. Watch a lot of golly videos. If you never knew you can always vault and pass behind you. That's from in front of course. For the rest, uh, you can't. But don't try. <laughs> You won't pass. Now in house. This is the best way to counter anyone. Just from picking kitchen and you're on attack. You just ash here. And you see anyone popping his big ass head to spawn kill you. Now full disclaimer. It will make a lot of noise so he might have time to react. I know the alcohol trip from there. Recoil? Oh my god. Make sure that your sensitivity is high so that you can compensate for the fact that you can easily flick with the low FPS. So, about that, this is all I could show you. Now, if you want an extra tweak, which I personally would recommend, let me get straight into it. So, 
so we're back to the desktop and this is a personal trick you can do um, I really don't recommend it but if you really want everything I, then you can try this so you come to custom resolutions accept of course and you put in the resolution which you currently configured mine is mine is 780 by 690 so I can put 780 by 690 put it at 60 hertz and that should be fine now this will what will it do you register this as an official resolution of your screen so watch this what when i switch into the game just watch this um, i'll record next video to the game so we're back into the game and you can just see how it has changed so when i retry look how shitty the graphics now look it's shitty but you know if you're a hardcore player this will actually give you a lot of fps now i'll recommend those who are really on a low end intel to do i will recommend it now let me play as switch which is one of my favorite attackers and i should guarantee you that acog should be one of your only sites to use why is that acog gives you an fps boost and i mean an fps boost are an fps boost of about 5 to 10 fps and that's not small that's a lot so you see fps right now is 53 48 47 and you see how shitty it is you see how shitty it is it's like f but you know what you could always you always configure it oh my god this guy's next door where is he Okay, here is the bad boy. You can't drop shot me, boy. Now I play against, I'm usually match mix against golds and plats. And this is because I will say Ubisoft thinks I have a skill level. Don't get me wrong, I'm on ranked and I think I was bronze in one season. But given that I have this kind of KD and win ratio for a bad person. And people don't still have my kitty with better pieces. People are like, how do you do it? My friends will be like, no way, you're lying, you can't have 40 FPS. But this is not my FPS. This is the FPS you get if you want the lowest settings. Okay, I have just two bullets in this. I can't fucking kill anybody with two bullets. If I had a higher FOV, I could have vaulted that, but since my FOV was low, I had to wait for the vault indication, which appeared only when I was close. So that's fucked. That's so fucked, man. That vault was completely unnecessary. I'm not really the best at record controlling, you know. But I tried to keep my record together. I push towards the FPS mode. So that's about it guys. On what you need to do to boost your FPS. Also be very aggressive because your FPS won't help you. Now just for you to see what I'm talking about. Now that I come into graphics, you can see that when I top this up to 100, this is the actual resolution I set up. That's because it has now been registered as an official resolution. 
So you can do that with other resolutions. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the highest I can do to help you. The rest is just up to your PC if it wants to give you that FPS or not. So I'll end this recording and get back to the other recording. So this is it guys. Um, come to the end of the video and if you have had any help so far, you think it has helped you, drop a like, leave a comment if you didn't understand anything. I'll get back to you and reply. Um, if you want to know more about, you know, optimizing games, you can check Low Spec Gamer. Um, I'll leave the link in the description for his channel. And well, that's pretty much it. If you have a friend who has a low end PC, low end graphics card he wants to run, you can consult my video or consult the other videos who use GTX 1080 Ti's. But as far as I'm concerned, I've done for the really really low spec games and I'm out from here it's your choice on what you want to do I hope it helped you and peace out Location compromised.